we'll continue to do some uh, other manipulation of manipulations of data here just to to uh, get more comfortable with using R. But we were looking at summary statistics for IRIS. And what we can do is to calculate a particular statistic. If we, we might be interested, for instance, in the standard deviation of pedal width. So to do that, uh, we just type SD. Um, and what we have to do is to tell uh, R what the particular variable is we're interested in. So we give it the whole, whole data set. But then we use the dollar sign. And we would say, say, pedal width. And we run that, and there's the, the value. And of course, what we could do is to set that up as an object, right? So we can just make this easy. So we'll just copy that down here. I'll run that, and now nothing happens. But I did create S, which is here, and you can actually see the value right up there. But if I want to print that to the console, I just type S, and then there it shows up right there. So um, I'll just back up over that one. Um, and there are uh, other other variables that might be interesting. We can do mean as, as an example. So, and again, what we would, would oops, I need to set that up as an object. What we would do is just to, um, again, uh, use a dollar sign so we can tell R what particular variable we're interested in, and we calculate the mean just like that. I want to uh, give you one other type of classification, uh, well, analysis of, of data or description of data that's very useful, and it's what's called the five number system. So um, let's just say that we want to do the five number system for um, sepal width, just to be different. And we run that, and what we get are five numbers. And the central number is the median. And then this is the 75% percentile, 3.3. 4.4 is the high value. 2.8 is the 25th percentile. And 2 is the lowest number. These numbers are used to prepare box plots. And we'll be do doing that next week. But uh, this five number system is a very useful way of looking at the central tendency of a distribution. 3 would be the central point here, and also at how they're distributed. So um, and this this point here, the 75th percentile and the 25th percentile are referred to as the hinges. So we have the upper hinge and the lower hinge, and then these values here are the top 25% and the low 25% between 2.8 and 2.0. So stay tuned with the five number system because we're going to come back and use that a lot next week when we're doing uh, box plots and uh, to some extent, violin plots. Now, what we see is that when we're 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 trying to tell R to to do things on uh, different variables in Iris, we're always having to type the dollar sign, and that gets to be sort of uh, a pain after a while. So, one thing we can do, particularly if we're only going to be working with one data set, uh, and it's possible to work with many at once in R, but if we're going to be working with one. That's all we have here, as you can see up in our environment pane. Uh, what we can do is to attach it. And so I'm going to attach Iris. And I'm telling R that the only variables that I'm going to be talking about are going to be found in Iris. So don't go looking for dollar signs. So I'm going to run that. And now what I can do, instead of having to type the dollar sign there, I can just say, what's the mean of pedal length, please? I'd like to know that. And then there that number is. So it makes things pretty handy. What we're going to do now, though, is to look at the analysis of these irises by species. And we can separate them out by species uh, in, in R. It's a little bit clunky to do that. But what we can do is to use a package that has been developed to make uh, that sort of of uh, delineation by a grouping variable very easy for us. So what we're going to be doing is using a package. And the package that we're going to, to load into R is a package that's called Psych. And I've actually already already have it here in my own library. But let's go ahead and let me show you how you would do it to set up, set up Psych in your own library. What you're going to do is to go into your source pane 
and you're going to type install packages, and then you got to put in parentheses whatever the package it is that, of, of interest. So in this case, it's psych. And so I'm going to run that. And what it's doing is it's it's running, uh, it's loading the psych code to R. So uh, I've increased my functionality of R by putting psych uh, in, into my into my particular version, but it's still not activated. So I've still got to do that. And there are a couple ways to do that. Um, what I normally do is just to say use the require command. And if you look over here on the in the package uh, pane over here, you'll see psych is unchecked. But after I run this, it will be checked. And of course, an easy way to activate a package is just to click on it or deactivate it to unclick on it. So there's another way of doing it. And some people uh, use a different command in, in R, which is library. And uh, just as an example, there's a, a package called car. And let's just uh, watch that happen, and it gets activated as well. But require is a little more intuitive to me than library, but any of those three methods is, is going to work for you to open up a, a psych package. Now, what we're going to do is to split our data set uh, by species. So we have these three different species, and we know we have 50 different measurements on, on each iris. So what I'm going to do is to set up an object just to hold my data, and I'm going to just call it species.split, and I'll put my operator there. And then the command is pretty simple. It's just describe and then by. Then I tell R that I'm going to be dealing with iris. And since I have attached uh, the iris data set, I don't have to tell it the grouping variable as irish dollar sign species. I can just say, I'm going to use uh, species. And so what I do is to put that in here. I can't remember if it was capitalized or not, but uh, we'll soon see. Um, and that ran. But again, it, it, nothing shows uh, except the fact that I have species split up here. I have uh, three different lists. But to see that, what I want to do, of course, is just to say print, print this object. And so I'm going to just type species split and hit that, and there I have it. I have all my three, the three species are separated out, and Psych gives even more summary statistics than, than the summary, summary function in R. So you can see that um, I get the sample size, I get the mean, I get the standard deviation, I get the median, I get the trim mean, which is excluding the top and low, the top 10% and the bottom 10% of data, the ones that may tend to be outliers. Um, I, I also get a, uh, a, a diff different values of central tendency, the M MAD, we get min and max, we get the range, and then a couple of higher moments of, uh, of, an, of description, skew and kurtosis, uh, which could be interesting to pick up on your, your particular question, and then also uh, the, the standard error. And you can see that these are broken down by there's Cetosa, there's Versicolor, and there's Virginica. So that works out uh, very nicely for us. So packages are going to greatly increase uh, one's uh, ability to, to, to do various uh, tasks in, in R. And again, as I mentioned, there are almost 6,000 packages that are available. So if you have a particular um, need for a more specialized uh, type of analysis, there's a good chance you can find something uh, in the CRAN, in the, the, uh, the Comprehensive Research Archive Network, that will, will help you to do that. What we're going to do now is to uh, learn how to upload data uh, from Excel into, uh, in, into R. So if you go to the Moodle page, uh, you should be able to click on a, uh, a file that's called dogwelk, dogwelk links, uh, dot Excel. And I've got, I don't have the Excel file open here, but I'll just open that back up. So, oops, there it is. So open that up. And you see that there are just two columns of data. On the one hand, on the left side, I've got species of a particular 
type of a dog whelk. And then I have the length here and I can get rid of that width. I don't really need that. So I just have the length for the, these very, these uh, snails here. The problem with Excel and R is that Excel has Microsoft proprietary language, proprietary code that is of course protected. And so R, R developers can't uh, supersede or uh, can, can't, can't cause their code to, to accommodate the, this proprietary code. So what we have to do is to get the Microsoft Excel data into a form that we can read into R. And the simplest way to do that is just to save the file as a comma-separated version, so comma-separated comma values. So you can just choose that, and what we're going to do is just to cause, call that uh, dog whelk links. It's going to be a CSV file, and so I'll save that. And actually, I already have it there, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Um, and you always get this sort of thing with when you try to save in a form other than Excel. But now I'm set to bring this into, into R. And how do I go about doing that? Well, the simplest way is just to, well, let, let's, let's give our data a, a name. And so we'll call the data whelks, just to make it pretty clear. And what I'm going to do is to simply uh, tell R that I'm going to read a CSV file and you need to go find it. I want to help you go find it. So what we're going to do is to say read CSV and then we use this file choose command. And again, I'm putting in the, uh, the open close parentheses because that's essentially a wild card. And what I should be able to do is to run that command and it says, okay, go find it. And I know that I put that up on my desktop, and this was the dog whelk link. Dog whelk links is a CSV. Hover over that just to make sure. But yeah, it's comma separated variables. So I'm just going to say open. And what I see is that whelks has opened up here uh, into. Um, into my environment. So now I have two data sets. And it's a good time now, because I have two data sets open, to detach Iris. So I could always, it's possible that you would have the same variable in two different data sets, and R is going to always going to look at, at Iris for that, for the dominance of, or the data set that it's going to use to read that particular variable. So I went ahead and detached Iris there. And again, anytime you're, you're writing code or someone or borrowing someone else's code uh, that oftentimes annotating it it's a good idea so uh, detach the Irish the Iris data set and so uh, there, that's just a, a little annotation that lets you know what what's been done there um, so let, let's do the same sort of thing with with the dog whelks uh, that we did with the irises and so what we what we want to do, know is um, are are were, were, are there significant looking differences? Are there dramatic differences in size between these sorts of uh, of of snails? And this time, instead of simply of, of setting up a, an object with my information, I'm just going to say just print it to the console. So what I want to do this time is. Uh, well, actually, before I do that, let me just make sure that I've got, um, let's print the head of Welks. So, well, the reason that I did that is because I wasn't sure if I had species capitalized or not. And R is, is case sensitive, so if I put a little s species, I would have gotten into trouble there. So, anyway, I'll say just describe by, and we'll give my data set Welks. And I'm going to say uh, Wilkes, oops, dollar sign, oops, dollar sign species. And if I run that, then I get all my variables down here. So I've got, uh, here's Canaliculata, here's Emarginata, and here's Lamellosa. And just looking at the means, Lamellosa looks like it's the biggest, and Emarginata is the smallest, and 
caniculata is sort of in between. So if I was interested in showing there's a statistical difference there, then I might be interested in doing an analysis of variance or something like that um, to uh, to further explore the the these uh, variables here. But at any rate, that's uh, a very um, Use, Psych is a very useful package that allows us to partition data by a, a grouping variable or a, a classification variable.